looking for Dead Space and for Spoken. In today's video, guys, we're going to talk about a great deal going on at Target right now. It does have its pros and cons, and we're going to talk about everything you need to know about Target's buy one, get one 50% off on certain video games deal. Let's get started. What is going on, guys? Jimmy wrote a video today, and this is going to be today's video for Monday. We're going to talk about the Target deal of buy one, get one 50% off video games. Now, keep in mind, there are key things to know. We'll get to that in a minute, but... There is so many good deals that have happened with Target recently, and this is kind of weird to see it buy one, get one 50% off instead of buy two, get one free. We're going to talk about that on today's video and all kinds of other things you need to know. But before we get started today's video, guys, if you consider hitting that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below. You're going to be doing this buy one, get one 50% off video game deal, or you skip out and wait for the VR coming out or other deals. And let's just get started. All right, guys, we're back to studio here. Key things to know. Buy one, get one 50% off is the name of the deal but it also is something you need to know about the lowest price game is the one that's going to be half off so if i were you i would definitely stick with the same price games just like buy two get one free so you get the same price game half off so if you get a 70 dollars game you get the game half off for 35 that's a pretty good deal instead of getting like a 70 dollars game and a 20 dollars game and that one half off for 10 dollars that's not really a great deal at that point so we're going to talk about that today obviously and sunday 2 11 23 at 3 a.m eastern time the reason why i'm talking about that is because there is so many, so many comments asking about the end date of certain um, different deals, and I definitely looked into it. It's going to be the end of the ad for Target, which is going to be Saturday night going into Sunday, which will be 3 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, will be the end of this deal, so keep that in mind. Nintendo and Sony first-party games, are they included? We'll find out, because some weird things going on with that. And pre-orders are excluded for the most part, and new releases, we'll talk about that as well, so... This sale is definitely going to be a good deal if you are looking for certain games, but we're going to talk about that right now. We're going to start out by comparing these deals. As you can see right here on the left side, this is the buy one, get one 50% off video game deal and other stuff as well, obviously. On the right side, as you can see, it says buy two, get one free. That was an old video I made a while ago, and that's a picture of a thumbnail. That deal was at Target, obviously. It was buy two, get one free. You'll see on the screen right here for a better image, but this deal is honestly better. The buy one, get one 50% off deal is good. But the buy two, get one free is much better. We're going to talk about that right now. So this is the reasoning behind why I think the buy two, get one free deal is much better. So let's talk about if you buy two games and get one free. So obviously, we're going to talk about $70 games in this scenario for both of these. So buy two, get one free, $70 game, $70 game, free. So that's $140. Then your second stack of games would be $70 game, $70 game, and free. So 140 plus 140 is 280. The reason why I'm doing six is because it's going to add up to buy one, get one 50% off with three different deals. So it adds up to six and six and matches the exact number of games to make it more look, look more realistic as a, uh, a comparison, if that makes sense. So yeah, you get that. That's nearly, what, 300 bucks for that. So it's around 280 before taxes. And then we go over to the right side and we're going to talk about the deal that's going on right now. Buy one game, get one 50% off. So this is how this works. We're going to talk about $70 games once again. So game number one is 70. Game number two is 35. Uh, game number three, uh, three, which would be another transaction, would be 70. And the next game would be the half off, would be 35 again. And so on. The next deal, $70 for the, fir uh, for the fifth game. And your sixth game would be $35 for the half off. So pretty much you would get three games for $70. If you did three transactions, you would get the other three half off, which would be $35. So if you add all of that together, your total comes out to $315. If you are going to do the buy one, get one 50% off deal versus the actual buy two, get one free deal, which is $280. I know this is like math class at this point, but yeah, there is a $35 difference if you are choosing to go the buy two, get one free route and save money. But obviously it's not a deal going on right now. So you are going to get less of a deal than that just by doing this comparison but it's still a great deal but it's not as good as the buy two get one free my personal opinion by these numbers switch up things here do new release games count as you can see there's three major hits right here well this one in the middle didn't do too well in terms of reviews but for spoken in my personal opinion from the demo and it looks really good i think they're pretty much saying it's a mediocre game because game with magic and spells and harry potter is coming out so that's obviously going to be way better than that so maybe that didn't help too much but i mean for spoken i actually picked this game out by the way for my buy one get one uh 50 off and we'll talk about that in a minute but well we can talk about it right now as you can see right here dead space and for spoken are literally right next to each other so yes those are the games i picked up um great deal but all right so as you can see dead space counts which is immediately what you should choose because this game was like I almost said what 10 out of 10 from everyone and it's the remake of dead space one that's a really good one right there and especially since it counts because it's not supposed to be if you see the fine print right here new release games do not count 
and Sony and Nintendo exclusives. But Dead Space and Forspoken count. So at the time of recording, you can get Dead Space and Forspoken, which is a really good deal. But we look at Harry Potter. I mean, Hogwarts Legacy, obviously, on the right side here. There's a big red X over it. Yep, that doesn't count. I think they're talking about new release as in the week of the ads. So maybe that's why Forspoken and Dead Space count. But Harry Potter, or sorry, Harry Hogwarts Legacy does not count, sadly. Continuing, we're going to talk about other things that don't count. Yes, you're looking at it right. There are Nintendo games with red X's over them. Yes, no, no, not one Nintendo exclusive counts. I think Tokyo Mirage is not made by Nintendo, that's probably why, but nothing counts for Nintendo. Nintendo is very dry with this deal, unless you're looking for third-party games, obviously. So, if you are looking for Nintendo Switch games, this is definitely not the deal for you. So, so sorry to say, but yeah, N Nintendo wasn't cool with this deal. Well, they really don't really ever add these to the deal, unless it's like a Black Friday deal or something. Up next, we're going to talk about Sony exclusives. Now, you're not going to see Microsoft exclusives because most of the Microsoft exclusive games are either digital or they weren't on the Series X and they're not newer. So keep that in mind. Uh, obviously, there are some Xbox exclusives coming out that are not out yet. So obviously, they wouldn't count towards this. But right now, look at this chart. Well, look at this comparison real quick. God of War Ragnarok and Last of Us Part 1 are the only two PlayStation exclusives that don't count. From what I can definitely tell, there might be more, but these two are the ones I definitely have found that don't count. But for some reason, it says Sony exclusives don't count, but if you look to the right side, Ratchet and Clank counts, Ghost of Tsushima counts, Horizon Forbidden West counts, Spider-Man Miles Morales counts with the DLC of the uh, Spider-Man Definitive Edition, and then Gran Turismo 7 counts as well. Sadly, Gran Turismo has been out of stock since it even started. Probably because it's going to be on PSVR 2. And that's definitely why people grab that before even the sale started. So keep that in mind. There is a big deal with Sony games that actually count for this deal. So if you're looking for Ragnarok and Last of Us, it's not going to count. But the rest will count. At the time it's recording, obviously. So next we're going to talk about pre-orders and how most of them are excluded this time. Sometimes we will see pre-orders count. But this time, if you take a look, Minecraft is the only one that I can see that counts for this deal. Maybe besides a select few that people never probably heard of, but the big ones at the top here, Final Fantasy 16, Resident Evil 4 Remake, and Star Wars Survivor uh, do not count. So if you're looking for those three games, they do not count. And even at 3 o'clock when this deal first came out on Sunday, it did not count. So nothing counted. Target was really smart with this this time to make sure that people were not getting pre-orders that weren't supposed to count and mess the whole system up but yes it's important to know that pre-orders are supposed to be excluded from this but minecraft for some stupid reason counts up next we're going to talk about what we talk about a lot in this channel pros and cons we're going to talk about the pros of this deal so pro number one dead space and forspoken do count that is a major major thing going on here because dead space and for and uh forspoken both came out last week they are new releases and they are never they never been on sale yet especially for spoken being a sony exclusive uh, Dead Space is probably not going to go on sale for a while either. I'm going to take a guess and say Dead Space will not be on sale until probably Memorial Day. And I think for Spoken will probably be maybe sometime around the holiday because I know it's not the greatest game in score what it got, but it is a Sony exclusive. You have to realize that. So keep that in mind. Uh, most Sony first party games count. Speaking of Sony games, yes, if you're looking for anything besides God of War, Ragnarok, and Last of Us Part 1 Remake, for some reason, that game literally is a remake of the first one, which doesn't really do much of a difference, but that doesn't count. But everything else counts. It's insane. Target Circle 5%. Listen to this very closely. Up on the screen right here, the Target Circle deal where you spend a certain amount of money per transaction. If you do it in multiple transactions, you can get a $15 uh, Target in points. Uh, this doesn't happen to everyone unless I think you're like a Target 5% card holder or whatever it is. It might work. You might be random. I don't know. Make sure you check out your target circle and see if there's steps to be taken, four steps or three steps or whatever it is, to make certain purchases to get that $15. Also, if you are getting that target circle deal, you might as well get the 5% off as well for being a target red card holder as well. Books, movies, and board games also count. So if you're not just in the mood for video games, you got books, movies, board games, and Pokemon cards do not count. Uh, no, I probably wondered it myself, but no, they don't count. And store online per usual. So yes, if you are worried about the online stock, there could be a lot more in your store. For some reason, I did Forspoken as a store pickup with Dead Space. And for some silly reason, they said Forspoken wasn't there. I walked in there to see what other games they had. There was like four Forspoken sitting right there. So that's just lazy of Target once again. But that's besides the point. So 
if your store doesn't have a lot of stuff, it could be better online or vice versa. Honestly, my store had nothing but like three games in stock. It was crazy. So let me know in the comment section below which one you would pick, store or online. And then we go to the cons. The cons are what we don't want to hear about stuff, but we got to talk about them because nothing's perfect. And this does have its cons. Not better than the buy two, get one free deal as we talked about a, a couple minutes ago. This deal, we kind of went over the math. Well, we did over the math like it was like literally like a math class. But uh, <laughs> the cons are going to be where it starts with the deal. This deal is definitely not better than buy two, get one free. But is this deal bad? No, not at all. I'm just saying if you're comparing it to a buy two, get one free deal, it's not good compared to that. It's not bad. It's just not as good. No PSVR 2 games. Now, I know everyone and everyone's waiting for the PSVR 2, especially if you're a PS5 uh, owner. There's no pre-order for the thing yet, and it's coming out, what, two weeks? There's no physical games? What's going on with this thing? Like, seriously, like, there's, like, rare PSVR games, like Townsman or whatever it's, whatever the heck it's called. Walking Dead game coming out in April. Nothing else is physical. And the only game I can say that would be good for this deal, if you're looking for PSVR 2 games, is Resident Evil Village and the out-of-stock Gran Turismo 7, which really sucks, because I would have picked that and Dead Space, probably. But then again, no, I probably would get it. Get, just get Gran Turismo in the store right now. There's your sneak preview for the PlayStation deal video I have on Wednesday. Yes, if you're looking for Gran Turismo, get it on that sale, because it's going to be out-of-stock everywhere because of the PSVR 2. But that's besides the point. No Nintendo first-party games count. Yes, that is sad, but very predictable. Uh, predictable for Nintendo to do this once again. No first-party Switch games. Uh, obviously, there's no Wii or Wii U or 3DS games in the store. So, yes, no Switch first-party games. It might be uh, different with other deals, but this one went very strict, just like the pre-orders. Uh, limited amount of games to pick from. Honestly, if you go to GameStop or even Best Buy, there's much more games to pick from. But they don't really run deals like that, especially Best Buy. They don't run deals like that at all. And then GameStop just runs that stuff on Black Friday and deals like that. Random week in February that this deal happened. It's it's just weird because they made a deal like this happen. Just like GameStop had its really good trading bonus in the end of January. So maybe that's good things to come for better deals that are just holidays. That'd be cool. But let's continue. All right, guys. That's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this Target Buy one, get one 50% off game deal or movie deal or board game deal. Or if you want Monopoly, that's there probably. But if you are looking for a good deal, I think this is good if you're looking for Dead Space for Spoken. Because you got two games right there and get one half off. You don't have to force yourself to buy a third game if you can't buy one. Obviously, buy two, get one free is still much better. We did the pros and cons. This honestly is a great deal if you're looking. I would say if you're looking for certain games. If you're looking for a bunch of games, this may not be the best deal. Because buy two, get one free would work much better with that. That's it for today's video, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what games you're picking up. Let me know in the comment section below if you are um, going to skip this deal. Do you think other deals are going to happen or better? You're going to wait for Dead Space to go on sale and for Spoken to go on sale. Also, let me know in the comment section below which of the two games you would rather pick up, Dead Space or Forspoken. So, I'll stay positive. Most of all, stay safe, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday for a video. Peace out, guys.